guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope your quarantine is going um, somewhat tolerable and bearable and that you are staying busy and being proactive. And if you're just being lazy, then that's okay too. Um, just keep in mind that this is going to pass and that we're all gonna get through this. Okay, so stay in, stay in there, hang in there and stay strong. I'm going to do a look with the Mount Cosmetics Vita palette. Look at this packaging, it's just so, so stunning. It honestly just mesmerizes me and takes my breath away how beautiful and gorgeous the detail of this is. Um, anyway, um, if you wanna learn how to do this look, then make sure to keep on watching. Hit the subscribe button and hit the little notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I'll upload two videos every week, so let's get to it. To begin with, I'm going to put some uh, vitamin E on my lips just to get that going. You could use this stick um, for under the eye or for your lips. Um, I personally just use it on my lips. I got this at Whole Foods. To prep my eyelid, I'm going to use the MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer. And this is the shade NW25 and I'm going to use my Sephora concealer brush. But you can use any like flat head that you have. So I'm going to grab some product. And basically I'm just going to put this all over my lid just to prep the eye. To set my eyes, I'm going to use the Studio Fix MAC Powder and this is the shade um, NC42 and I'm going to use that same brush that I used to prep my eyelid and I'm just going to take it and just tap in there and just set it all in place. For my base color, I'm going to go in with this color right here, Atole. And I'm going to use my Real Technique uh, crease brush, which is nice and fluffy and it's going to get in there. And I'm going to put this all over our, our my eyelid and crease area as a base color. And now I'm going to go in with Pan Dulce, which is this one right here. And I'm going to use my Sephora Blending Crease Brush. It's just basically like an, an elongated oval. And this is what this brush looks like. And we're going to put it all over our crease in circular motions. You start from the outward inward. Then you keep the most focus in your outer corner. I'm gonna put some um, Claire Beauty Rose Water and Collagen Facial Mist Spray. And I'm just gonna put this on my Moda Pro Detail Brush. Like this. And I'm just gonna point that out just so that the color that we're about to pick really gets into the brush and we get the maximum out of the shade. I'm gonna go in with the shade Sol, which is this one right here. We're gonna go a little bit above our crease, so just around right here. Not in the crease, but a little bit above it. And we're going to blend those two colors, making sure there's no harsh lines in between. Now comes the fun part. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. So for, for this, you're going to want a good concealer. Um, and then you're going to want a good um, flat brush but that has a little curve at the top so that you can relax it and place it like right here 
in your lid and you bring it down. So for this, you want the really, really, the tip of the brush basically is what you're gonna be using the most. You want something that's skinny and flat. So for this, I put some concealer in my hand and I'm just gonna go in with this Urban Decay brush and I'm just gonna go like this and just take all the excess product off of the brush and I'm gonna go in. So for this, you want to go open your eye and wherever it marks up here, that's where you're going to draw the line. Now that we've cut our crease, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. This is like an orange red, it's called Mexicana. And I'm just gonna use a e.l.f. Uh, blending brush right here like this. And I'm just gonna put this in the outer corner of my eye. As well, I'm going to put it in the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to start blending it inward. Starting from the outer corner in and then starting from the inner corner towards the center. I'm gonna go in with that red, the Mexicana color, and I'm gonna put it in the center of my lid. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade Alegria. And I'm gonna put it in the outer corner of my eye and in the inner corner of my eye. Now I'm just gonna blend it with that red color and bring it all over our crease. For the inner corner, I'm gonna use the Trophy Wife Highlighter from Fenty Beauty. And this is what this looks like. And I'm gonna just grab my pinky and I'm just gonna focus in the inner corner of the eye. For eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Beauty For Real Liquid Liner.
and I'm gonna create a wing. This is it for the eyes. Right now, I'm gonna continue to the rest of my face. I'm gonna grab the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I'm just gonna take a scoop like this and put it in my hand and just warm it up and put it all over my face. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. And this is the shade 75 Natural Beige. I'm gonna put a couple of pumps. Well, I'm just gonna start with one, like this. And I'm gonna put it in the back of my hand. And with my beauty sponge, I'm just gonna grab some product and start putting it in my face. I would like a little bit of more coverage, so I'm just gonna go ahead and with more product and build it up. This is just one layer, I'm gonna do a second layer. For concealer, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And I'm just gonna put a couple of dots under my eye. For contour, I'm gonna use the Color Perfect Foundation Stick. And this is the shade um, Beautiful Bronze. And I'm gonna put this where I need some bronze. And now I'm gonna grab my beauty sponge and I'm gonna first start with the concealer and then I'm gonna move on to my contour. Now to set it all in place, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter setting powder. And this is the shade Banana. I'm gonna go in with my beauty sponge and set under my eye. I'm gonna leave it like that just for a quick second and then I'm gonna move on to setting the rest of my face. Now I'm gonna go back to my eyes and I'm gonna focus in the lower lash line. I'm gonna start with the shade Pan Dulce. This one right here. And I'm gonna grab a smudger brush. This is a, a Moda Pro BMX 402. And I'm gonna run this through the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Sol. And I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow brush. For the waterline, I'm gonna go in with this shade here. This is Amor Eterno. And I'm just gonna place it in my waterline like I would any eyeliner. Moving on to bronzer, I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer Tantalize. And I'm gonna grab my Sephora um, Highlight and Couture Brush.
for blush, I'm gonna use the Too Faced uh, Papaya Pup um, Blush Duo. It has a highlighter and a blush two in one. And I like the combination of both. And I'm gonna go in with the same brush that I used for the bronzer. And I'm just gonna put this and focus in the high points apples of my cheeks and bring it upward. For highlighter, I'm gonna go in again with the Trophy Wife Fenty Beauty Highlighter. And I'm gonna use my Sephora um, fan brush. And I'm gonna put this in the high points of my face. In the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. Moving on to the brows, I'm gonna grab a spoolie. This is a Sephora uh, angled liner with spoolie brush and it comes with a brush in one end and then an uh, angle brush in the other one. So I'm gonna use the spoolie part and I'm just gonna brush my brows downward first. And I'm gonna grab the Brow Contour Pro Pencil from Benefit. And this comes with multiple shades. I'm gonna use a deeper shade here and this is the Pencil Brown Medium. And I'm gonna start to fill in my brows. And now with a fluffy small blending brush, I'm just going to blend all this product so it doesn't look so harsh and it gives it that fluffy natural look. And now I'm gonna grab the spoolie again and I'm just gonna brush my brow upward. For lashes, I'm gonna grab my eyelash curler and just go ahead and curl my eyelashes. I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl Lash Blast Amplify Primer. And what this is gonna do is gonna help your eyelashes um, really, really, your mascara really, really brighten up your lashes. And it helps with the volume as well. Now for mascara, I'm gonna use a Monster Big by Lancome. This is one of my favorite, favorite mascaras. For the lips, I'm gonna go in with the Patrick Ta in the shade She's Proud. This is the lip liner. And I'm just gonna start outlining my lips and I'm gonna slightly overline them. And then I'm gonna top it off with a gloss. I'm not sure if I wanna use the Fenty Beauty um, Gloss Bomb Fussy or I wanna use the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Hot Chocolate. I'm gonna see like right here, these are the two options. I think I'm gonna go in with this one, Fussy, just because I wanna keep it a neutral and nude color. I want all the focus to go to my eyes. And this is it guys. This is the final look. 
I hope you like it. Um, let me know that you liked it by giving it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the little notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I'll upload two videos every week. So I can't wait to see you next time. Stay safe and wash your hands. Bye.